in this video we are going to discuss about process control block uh, in short we can call it as pcb every process is represented in the operating system with the help of pcb process control block every process has its own process control block so process control block specifies information about the process uh, let's see the diagram for the process control block so process control block contains all these fields uh, let's see the first one process state uh, we have uh, several process states like uh, new state ready state uh, running state uh, next uh, waiting state and halted state halted state okay so these are the various states of a process new means whenever a process is created then it is in new state a ready state means the process is ready for execution by the cpu running state means the process is currently executing by the cpu waiting means the process is waiting for some input output operation halted state means the process has completed all its operations now let's see the next field that is process number each process will have a unique identification number so that id is nothing but process number so the, so the process number can also be called as process id so process number is nothing but a unique identification number that is given to the process so with the help of that number operating system identifies the process next one is a program counter program counter always contains address of next instruction to be executed so the major advantage of the program counter is it maintains address of next instruction to be executed address of next instruction to be executed okay so let us assume that we have a process uh, which contains uh, uh, some uh, five instructions so i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 let our process contains five instructions uh, let us assume that uh, while executing i3 instruction uh, the process execution is stopped okay so now with the help of the program counter cpu will execute the next instruction okay so already i3 instruction is executed so what is the next instruction i4 is the next instruction so now cpu searches for what is the program counter so program counter contains i4 so program counter now starts executing i4 instruction okay so what is program counter program counter always maintains address of next instruction to be executed in several occasions cpu stops execution of a process let cpu receives an interrupt from the operating system so cpu stops execution of the process so now which instruction the cpu has to execute next that should be decided based upon the program counter okay now let's see about the next one cpu registers uh, mainly cpu registers are useful in order to store the data okay here uh, generally the data is stored in the form of registers cpu cannot perform operation directly let we have an instruction like a plus b cpu cannot perform operation on a and b directly that a should be stored in a register b should be stored in, in a register so a value should be stored in a register likewise b value should be stored in a register okay and cpu performs the operations on those two registers now uh, here we have uh, several registers like uh, program counter accumulator uh, program status board psw uh, base register uh, limit register index register so likewise we have several general purpose registers in order to perform the operations on the registers okay next one is cpu uh, cpu scheduling information Uh, it uh, maintains uh, the scheduling information about the process uh, here we have uh, uh, priority scheduling algorithm in priority scheduling algorithm cpu executes the process based upon the priorities so that priority information will be stored in that priority information will be stored here let process p1 has a priority ca called 1 so p1 1 
so that information will be stored here let process p2 has a priority 5 so that information will be stored here and we have an algorithm called round robin algorithm in round robin algorithm the process is executed only for a specific time quantum uh, time quantum okay and let us assume that uh, the time quantum is some 5 milliseconds so that means cpu executes the process only for 5 milliseconds after that cpu executes some other process so that time quantum information will also be stored here so cpu scheduling information means it stores the scheduling information about the process such as what is its priority as well as what is the time quantum period if there are any pointers re related to that process those pointers information will also be stored here and the next one is memory management information uh, we know that one of the another task of the operating system is uh, memory management information so in order to manage the memory efficiently operating system maintains uh, base register operating system maintains base register uh, next limit register limit register next is some base table next to segmentation table so all these uh, information will be maintained here so base register means uh, uh, it contains the starting address of the register let it be this register let it be the register base register always contains starting address of the register limit register means uh, length of the register so how many instructions does that register contains next to page table okay in order to maintain the pacing we need to maintain page table okay uh, so that information will also be maintained here next to segmentation table that information will also be maintained here okay so that is about what is memory management information it contains information about base register limit register page table information segmentation table information some pointed to the page table pointed to the segmentation table so all those fields will be stored here okay uh, next one is accounting information here accounting information means uh, it stores information about the cpu so how much time cpu executed that process and how much time remaining okay all that uh, cpu related statistics will be stored here let us assume that cpu has to execute a process for 15 milliseconds out of 15 milliseconds assumes that cpu executed only 5 milliseconds okay so how many milliseconds it has to execute it has to execute 10 more milliseconds so all those cpu statistics will be maintained in accounting information and the next one is list of open files uh, in order to execute a process uh, we need to open several files let us assume that this process requires three files sample.c sample.cpp sample.java file okay let us assume that we need to have three files okay so it maintains uh, the files which are opened in order to execute this process okay so the files which are opened okay and the last one is list of io devices so how many io devices are allocated to the process what are the io devices allocated to the process whether printer is allocated or not whether scanner is allocated or not whether a keyboard is allocated or not so likewise uh, the list of io devices that are attached to the process will be maintained here so this is about what is pcb so pcb stands for process control block so pcb maintains information about a process